Hello everyone, it's me, Janet, from Jay's Creative Cloud. Um, yeah, so, um, I wanted to come in, I was going through some of my videos after I made the first video, my introductory video to my new channel format, um, and I was kind of going through some of my old videos and I saw that there was a video that I made a couple of years ago, um, regarding, um, my glaucoma living with glaucoma and i just felt like it'd be only fair that i update you guys on that situation because you know some people actually chimed in and they were um you know sh telling sharing with me uh some of their experiences and some of their family members experiences and and their symptoms and you know vice versa you know so anyway um when i went when i went when i went to the ophthalmologist and first I went to the optometrist and she told me, oh, you have glaucoma. She was like so serious. She was angry because other doctors hadn't caught it before. And she couldn't understand why with all of these symptoms, nobody was treating me for glaucoma, right? So anyway, she gave me some drops. I have actually, I've been on like four different drops. Um, and mostly because the drops they gave me were so irritating to my eyes. They were like they dried my eyes out they made my eyes burn they gave me like rashes around my eyes i looked like i looked terrible but anyway um i ended up with one drop um timolol and it really it it really um it eased the the sense of fullness that i had in my eye it was mostly in my left eye sometimes in my right and it eased the sense of fullness that I had in my eye. But I think I told you guys in one video that they weren't really sure if I had glaucoma or not, but they were going to call it glaucoma because of the symptoms that I was having. So here's the deal. Last time I went to the ophthalmologist, which was about maybe nine months ago, um, and she checked my eyes and she was like, uh, your eyes are normal. You know, and I have to be honest, you know, I am a nurse. We all know that. You guys know that by now. But I did not take those drops consistently. Only took them when I felt pressure in my eyes. That's the only time I took it. But what I decided was to do a little bit of experimenting on my own. And when I say experiment, I don't mean experimenting with different drops, different medications or anything like that. What I decided to do was to see if it was the makeup that I was wearing, if it was the eyeliner that I was wearing, if it had clogged up my tear ducts, which they haven't checked that yet. But I said, well, I really felt like it was the makeup. So I stopped using a certain kind of um, eyeliner because I'm going to take my glasses off, but, and you guys, it's late at night, so my eyes look a little tired. Please forgive me, but you, you guys know me. I try to keep it real. So anyway, I have on eyeliner now, excuse me, but I, um, I, you know how you put your eyeliner, your uh, eyeliner on your lower, uh, not on the, just under your lid, but on your waterline, on your, that's what I was doing. And it was like, a like a gel, gel type um, eyebrow pencil or a gel type liner. Very popular brand. Anyway, um, so I stopped using it and I said, I'm going to try something else. <clears throat> Excuse me. I went on Amazon and I said, well, I got to find something that's totally hypoallergenic and I'll try that. And that's what I had been doing before I had went back to her. So um, let me show you what I got. I got it off Amazon and it's called, <laughs> what's funny is it's Amazon Prime and it's called Prime. It's called Prime. Let's see if you can see that. Yeah, that's funny. I never knew that. I never paid attention to that. Yep. Anyway, um, so it's um, hypoallergenic. Oh, this is the blue one. I don't really use this one. But you can, you know, screw it up. It goes back down, you know. And it's actually made for women um, that are a little bit older, like myself. So, yeah, so this is the black one. 
right here. Yep. So I've been using this one. And there's a sharpener on the bottom down here. So there's the sharpener. So I haven't used the sharpener. When it gets nice and round, that's better for me. But anyway, to make a long story short, um, I still don't know whether or not I truly have glaucoma. I still do have some symptoms of something. She did say that I had the beginning of cataracts around my eyes, and I can tell that. I mean, I saw that. You know, you get the little rings around your eyes, your eye around your your um, iris. So I I see that. You know, I do see that. Uh, and if it gets pretty bad, then I will have the, the um, cataract removed if it gets to the point where it's affecting my vision. Now, what I do see sometimes is, like, it seems like I see a little light coming across, like, just the bottom. I'm not sure if it's light reflecting off my glasses or if it's just really, like, it's not a floater because it's not floating away. It's just, like, a flash like that. And like I said, I don't know if it's from my glasses because my glasses are... They have these are everything glasses. These are blue blockers. They're um, transitions. They're progressives. Um, they are what else is that? They got the anti glare Kodak lens. Um, there's something else in these glasses. But anyway, these glasses have everything you can need in glasses. But anyway, um, yeah. So. When, uh, like I said, I, I just felt like it's my responsibility to update you since I had gotten you guys involved in a journey. And, um, yeah, so this is part three to my living with glaucoma, even though the part one and two was like two years ago. Like I said, it's just my, resp it's my responsibility um, to update you. Um, since I was diagnosed by that particular ophthalmologist, um, for personal and professional reasons, I left that particular, um, HMO and I signed up with another one. So I have, a um, my new doctor, um, I was just assigned to him Well, I, his, I was assigned to him and I can actually make an appointment as of the 1st of August, which was four days ago. So I'm going to do that as soon as possible. And then I'll see, I'll get a referral to an ophthalmologist and we'll take it from there. So, um, yeah, I, I do apologize for the length, the, 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 the length of time it took me to, to respectfully update you guys. And I do apologize, like I said, for, for, you know, being neglectful in that area, I, I, it won't happen again. I'm human, and I'm a nurse, so you know I'm not compliant. No, I, I, I take that back. I'm very compliant. But anyway, um, yeah. So, um, if you have any questions for me, please put them down in the comment section below. If you'd like to um, continue to follow me, please do so. Hit the notification bell and click all, so you'll. You'll get um, all of my notifications. You get notified. Notified, excuse me. You'll get notified every time I upload a video. Okay, and um, yeah, like I said, um, yeah, I, I do apologize. But this is me, Jay's Creative Cloud. No longer J Six. No longer Jernigan Six. Jay's Creative Cloud. Okay. And most of you guys know me just by my name, Janet. So you guys have a wonderful, wonderful um, evening. It's late. Have a great rest of the week. And I'll see you on the next video. God bless. Peace.